Hi everyone, so today we're going to be trying out Bark. It's actually a text to audio model by Suno AI. And if you have done any music generation in the AI space, you will definitely know about Suno AI. They're really good. And today we're going to be trying out your open source text to audio model. It's transformer based and basically it helps you generate highly realistic voices and it has different languages. I think if you go to the bottom, you see the languages it does support. And if you go over here, you're going to see the different, um, um, you see, emotive style or expressive style. It actually supports it supports laughter, laughs, sighs, and then music in the background. It also supports this particular, um, is it icon or glyphcon or whatever. And it also supports this basically for hesitation and you can actually capitalize for emphasis on words and you can switch between man and woman with this so it's really simple but today we're going to focus on setting this up locally and we're going to focus on using back small the reason why is my the pc i'm actually running this on is a macbook m1 pro and it's not really the best when it comes to this kind of hefty um um text to speech engine that actually require a lot of compute and if you have a beefy gpu then this basically is for you and it's really good and it's way better and because paper tt is really fast but paper tt is not expressive you can actually do you cannot make it laugh and do all this other stuff that this uh, that back can actually do so if you want your if you want to integrate um, a text to speech engine that's more expressive in your ai system then you should actually try this out you can actually try out back small or um the normal back because if you go over to the hugging face page you can see back suno slash back and you will find the large version but for this particular video i do not have the gp to actually run all this so i'm going to be going for i'm going to be going for the small and since i want to show you how to set this up locally i'm going to ask you to download all this you're going to either have to download all this or let me show you before we actually move on since we are setting this up using the transformer usage we're going to be doing this and we're going to set one you're going to set parameters here um to cut to a catch directory or a catch directory however that's actually pronounced it doesn't really matter but you get the point and you will also need the different speakers for that you're going to have to install the back um library you can do it with this so this video is one in a series of video where i'm actually trying out different text to speech engine I'm, i've tried out open voice version 2 i've tried out melo tts i've also tried out piper tts and i'm going to be dropping the links to all those videos in the description below and as you can see this file the voice.py actually contains different setup it also contains this for the open voice i'm going to be commenting this out and also for Piper TTS CLI. So in case you follow those videos or you're following these videos, you can just uncomment it. And I'm gonna also uncomment, I'm also going to comment the Melo TTS. And now let's open our terminal. And I have the virtual ENV already set up. So once I open terminal, it should be already activated. So I'm gonna run the command from your git repo. And this should actually install it. If you look over here in your disclaimer, as you can see, they said caution, do not use pip install back since it's not managed by Suno. And all the files are actually downloaded from Hugging Face. From your Hugging Face, make sure it has this logo and uh, back dash small. If you're using the small version, you do not need to download the speaker dash underscore embeddings because this is going to come with back. If we go over here, go to the virtual environment, go to back. You're going to see it here as you can see it's here so you do not actually need to download all that so let's since we're actually using the transformer usage we're going to scroll down this is what we're going to copy and let's write a new function here just directly above the play function and we'll call it back and we'll give it text let's paste this in and let's indent it properly so let's see we'll move this up 
and make sure you have transformers installed i think this actually requires let's comment this out and this actually requires transformer 4.3 so let's check what version of transformers we actually have you can do that by doing pip show so we have 4.42 and that's good let's clear this and scroll down again and since i have this here in the back dash models all i will do is right click on it and copy relative path and paste it in here paste it in here and i'm going to force it to use local files only and i'll set it to true so it just knows to actually use local files only now let's go over here let's create a safe path like we did in every other one and we have so we have it saved if you go over here you can see output underscore v2 and we did some test earlier with open voice and all that so they are all here and let's append so let's save it to let all i call it should i call it output bar i think so the wave so that's what the save path is going to be and we're going to save it and we're also going to play it so to save it we'll need to we'll need a particular package um, i think it's called kp or cp I, I do not know but you can call it is what it's called and i added it in the requirements of txt so you can actually do p um, pip install dash r requirements of txt and all that it will just automatically get that for you so you can do I'm going to import right I'm going to call it right wave so i'm going to call it so if i go back here you're going to see we have this so i'm going to call it right wave and we'll change this to the save path save path and we have all this and next thing we're going to do is play it save path and i think we are fine and we're going to pass in the text here okay so that's good so we have the it's going to be saved to output dash back the wave in the outputs underscore v2 folder so that's what we actually need and since we've actually done doing that let's go over to main.py where we're actually going to run it let's comment by TS CLI. we're going to duplicate it first and comment it call back and we will just pass in the text like we did here as you can see the text has been passed now we are going to try out some of the expressive um voices so let's try laughter and we'll also try um clear throat you can actually try whatever you want um this is just me trying what i actually want so you can actually try whichever one you want but for me okay and we have it all here we have claire Street here before hello sir and we have laughter we have laughter here so this should actually work out fine you can actually clean the code up however you want basically but this repo is for this particular series so that's the reason why i'm actually leaving it a mess like this but you can actually clean it up when you actually pull the repo so let's see after in this window blah 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 everything looks good now let's run it I run this by just doing python main.py however you want or you can use this play button but i'm gonna do this like this and since this is going to require a lot of compute i'm gonna just pause the video and this is gonna take a little bit of time i think it will take around one minute and a few seconds to actually get this sentence to actually run and for it to generate the audio file that we actually require to play
So I'm going to pause the video and then we'll come back when it's time to actually play it. Uh, accessing alarm and interface settings. <laughs> In this window, you can set up your customized greeting and alarm preferences. <clears throat> Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Bark is fully generated text to audio model developed for research and demo purpose. As you can see. And that is perfect. As you can see, it actually worked out really nice. So for those people that want to actually try this out with Suno Small and they don't want to actually set it up the way I actually set it up, because the reason why I'm actually setting it up this way is because for this particular set of videos, I am setting it up locally and it's for those people that want to set it up locally, basically, they can follow the steps I actually followed. They can download the model files like I did in Open Voice version 2 and also in Mario TTS and also Piper TTS. Now, if you don't want to follow that way, you can actually, if you want it to actually use the small models, you can copy this and make sure you actually place it here. Make sure it's actually set here. Yeah. Make sure you've imported OS. And as you can see, you've set this. And uh, once that is set, it will force it just in case you didn't actually point it to any directory and you want to point it directly to your Hogan face page and you don't want it to be local, you just want it to be temporary. You can actually run it this way. So once it actually runs, it will pick the small model instead of the large one. Because if you look here, is just pointing to suno slash back and you can also try it out if it would let you change it to back dash small but if you just want to copy and paste you can actually just copy and paste and then set this to use small model and also to offload to cpu you can set both of them to be true so you can actually use smaller vram and all that smaller cards so that's it for this video and make sure you do like and subscribe and make sure you do share this video that would actually help a lot to get this video in front of a lot of people and thank you for watching and i'm going to see you in the next one